And that's so okay. let's see. The feminine has the justice in reverse. And the masculine has the king of swords. He is pretty sharp these days. Standing in his power. Um, not taking crap from anybody. Standing up for what he believes in. But it's almost a little bit unexamined, too. There's a, there's a quickness to the king with how quickly he wants to pull his sword out of the sheath and go to battle. But he is on his throne, and there isn't a lot of movement in this card. So it's like he wants to fight for what he believes in with not much effort from the comfort of his home. That's the message I was getting. Um, through words, so maybe yes, there's some there. communication really through the written word this month for the masculine. So heavy. It's See how that resonates for you guys. The feminine over here has the justice in reverse. So she's feeling like life isn't fair and really is undergoing this time period of questioning what's true for her and what she believes in and what she's been fed to believe in. And I feel like those unexamined beliefs from her past that have created her present and perhaps not to her liking, like how it's resulted in present circumstances, they're undergoing this major examination this month out of necessity okay. because there's nothing yeah. else to do but that this whatever situation yeah. she's facing another major or card is one that feels so uncomfortable unfortunately don't shoot so the messenger the you guys um a new journey a new that she has no choice but to really dive into these structures in her life and question why she does the things that she does or why has she made the decision and choices that she's made in the past to bring her to her present state of reality. Let's see what's in her subconscious. The seven of cups in reverse and the masculine has the emperor in reverse. A little bit of an excitement. Okay. So whatever story Seven of Cups in reverse. In this there has been a need what's, for what's propelling some quick action, some quick decision making in the recent past to based on He's what other people have presented her with, if that makes sense. And now she's pausing. There's this lull in the activity or action or things happening in her outer world that she's now able to sit and contemplate, which is the justice card in reverse as well, how she got to where she is today and trying to take full responsibility for it but in the process, like trying to make sense of it, like uncovering these hidden motivations, uncovering these hidden beliefs, uncovering and bringing to the surface this uprooting of the basis of how she operates in her life. And I feel like he's going into the world what she believes to be true at her core. So I feel like this is a pretty significant and deep undergoing inner process that the feminine is taking on in April. So let's move back over to the masculine in his subconscious what he's not aware of energies is the emperor in reverse. So it's a little bit of feeling like he's not in control of his universe. Um, 
like things are flying at him and maybe that's why the king of swords is in his everyday experience of who he's being in the world is a little bit defensive i'm getting with the king of swords um against the potential of feeling attacked and it's all based on the past like it's not true that people are actually attacking you because when you feel attacked it's actually not about you it's about their insecurities um if you're doing well or the decisions that you're making or the direction that you're you've decided to take in your life doesn't fit their picture of who you've been in the past they may have something to say about that or their opinions but that's exactly what they are they're just opinions they're not the truth so it could be making the masculine feel a little bit wobbly on what his ultimate foundation yeah, is for say like it's very it's kind of a similar experience between the feminine and, and the masculine energy sagittarius this month so like for you guys like undergoing because these two cards um feel very similar to me like just even look at their imagery they're both sitting on these stately thrones made of concrete and they're both enrobed in these red garbs um he has his armor on underneath this they both have crowns but and they both have things in their hands items in their hands some tools that need to be at this their disposal um that understood on a deeper level I feel like you both need to understand the power at your hands the innate power that you have within that you're not fully embodying you're not fully recognizing right now this sense of um trust and hope and belief in your values if the masculine is approaching the feminine with this sword energy i feel like she's going to wield her sword she is holding a sword and it's upside down i feel like it could get a little nasty between the two of you if if you're both coming from a place of insecurity or fear based on what's happened in the past so let's let's keep moving through the reading the hierophant another similar energy is those red garbed people oh my gosh how much do i shuffle you guys this just came up in the leo reading in that same exact spot i feel like the the fire sign readings are so connected um this month so sagittarius check out the leo and the aries readings too because I feel like you're going to gain some insight by watching those videos if you're not already, if they're not even your moon or rising signs. Um, some powerful messages in both of those videos that are a little bit different than this. So the masculine has this hierophant, and he, I feel like he's really aiming to get established in his conscious wakeful worlds like a sense of structure again and this king of swords who's bridging the emperor and the hierophant who are sort of facing each other i just want to do this if you guys can see like they're facing each other and the king of swords is between them and it's like which way is he going to turn is he going to turn to what's already established these these institutional conventional ideas um tradition old ways of thinking or is he going to turn towards the upside down well that's not upside down upside down 
emperor over here to flip him over to feel like he's the king of his kingdom again and empowered and in his power. Um, vibration is going to be really that's the choice. That's the question for the masculine energy this month for April. Let's see what the masculine brain is. he going to go with what's tried and true and safe? And already established, and yes, there are good things to those parts of life. Like he has much Yet, do they fit? This do they fit what you're after, masculine? Do they fit um, what's in your heart? Do, do they fit? Are they a good? Do they resonate with you? Are they speaking your language? Moving forward in a new direction. And. I feel like I'm reiterating when I talk about this card because it's come up so much for the feminine fire sign energies is feeling a little discouraged and this worrisome thinking of how am I going to make ends meet? Oh my gosh, now what if I don't have the support of the masculine? energy by my so side in this teamwork time. like how can I do it alone how can I do it myself how can I get myself back to this feeling of safety and security and abundance and feeling full and taken care of and loved and adored with it upside down there's a little bit of a struggle with that experience being true for you reconsideration however is a revisit i feel like it's sagittarius this story that you've created um that has been so heavily influenced by other people um and maybe even their abuses towards you that you've taken on just this untrue gunk from other people that really needs to be healed and dropped and felt and dealt and fleshed out again um, out of your experience so that you can come back to your center you can come back to who you know yourself to be which is divine love which is compassion which is this beautiful spirit residing in your body and being embodied as this divine feminine that you are and getting back to that place of self-empowerment and I feel like this is the process that you're undergoing in April feminine and it's it's very deep and it's very necessary and you're not alone in this like again check out the Leo and Aries readings um, and support one another in the comment section below be responsible with your comments I do ask and request that it's not a place of venting but a place of sharing and love and support um, your sense of support for you guys you so let's see what the feminine brings the knight of cups it's like she's finding that for herself she's getting glimmers and glimpses of it and I feel like she's having to redirect it towards herself like it's this process of coming into self-acceptance it's a process of coming into healing and self-love for the feminine this month because the knight of cups is looking away from the masculine he's looking at her like this energy of you know pulling yourself up by your bootstraps and putting your armor on and mounting your horse and putting the cup in your hand and this is what i have to offer the world it's like offer that to yourself first before you go trotting up the river on this new adventure like really ground this self-appreciation and self-recognition within yourself to a point where you feel nourished to a point where you feel abundant again and it could take 
some time, a little bit of time. I just got that he has these fish on his, I don't know, it's like a vest that he's wearing. You guys can see that. I never noticed that before. So if you're not allergic to fish, maybe like the omegas in fish are going to be very beneficial for you, like the fish oils for your um, mood, for your the balance of your of your emotions and your brain. <laughs> like, that's a strange message, but I'm not a medical doctor, so this is not medical advice in any way, shape, or form, Sagittarius. So, of course, check with your health practitioner before you add anything to your regimen. Um, but that could be something to look into to add to your diet or fish oils. Um, let's see what the masculine has. It's a very similar energy of this King of Swords. No matter how frightening, this fighting. Um, no matter how insecure, and they feel like it's it's just coming up from a place of more power. Him not feeling the masculine, not feeling strong in in his center and grounded. Um, watch the Aries video. I put these meditations for the root chakra to help you guys feel more grounded and abundant and safe and secure in your body. And the mantra was LAM, L-A-M. So check those out. There, I put links for these different cool YouTube videos in the Aries video. <sighs> okay. In order to Let's see what the outcome card is. The conjoined energies. The ace of wands. In reverse. You guys. There is a need this month for both Sagittarian, masculine, and feminine energies to pause, to recoup, to self-nourish, to read positive, uplifting words and messages, to listen to highly resonant, high vibration um, sounds, like on those videos I posted in the Aries reading. Because this is an energy of... Like the wind is out of your sails. You're not feeling inspired. You're both um, coming from a place of a little bit of angst, some sadness that needs to be felt in order to move through you. Like don't hold it in, Sagittarius. If you feel like to cry, it's okay. Like it's You're not going to dissolve. What's going to dissolve is it being lodged in your body and and creating a sense of dis-ease in your body um, or even anger. I'm feeling like on the masculine side, a sense, like a sense of sadness for the feminine, a sense of anger for the masculine. It's like get outside and do something physical or take a class, like a taekwondo class or some sort of martial arts or um, something vigorous to move that energy through your body. Some, some physical wrestling, not to harm anybody, um, but to experience the pressure of this passion with these people holding these sticks up against one another and just the force of it to be able to channel that energy is the message that I'm getting for you guys. Um, and reach out for support to your community organizations, to your churches, to your friends, to your loved ones, in new and different ways that bring your vulnerability to the table and 
I feel like in that way you're going to be making progress and working through some of these um, potentially difficult emotions that you may be experiencing in April. So let's pull Sagittarius, an Archangel Michael card for you by Doreen Virtue. Okay, let's do this one. A favorable outcome. <laughs> It's a big card of trust. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. I feel like that's a huge message for the divine feminine here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, to have faith and trust that whatever is happening right now, your prayer is that it's a perfect and fair outcome for everyone. Let's read from the book. Favorable outcome. A situation that you're concerned about has already resolved itself with fairness and justice, and you and others involved will be pleased with the outcome. Heaven's ingenuity has devised a plan that's beyond the scope of human imagination. You may not see the solution at this moment, but trust that it is already in place. You are guided to give your worries or anger, worries for the feminine, anger for the masculine, to Archangel Michael, for there's no need to burden yourself. The more that you can let go and let, allow God to be in charge, the faster your favorable outcome will manifest. And the possible specific meanings. A legal matter will settle in your favor. Your new relationship will be long term. You'll get your desired job. The money will come through. And a healing will occur. I'll read the prayer once more. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. 